Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rachel with Ray Ray's Tech, and I'm going to be giving you guys some quick reasons why Straight Talk Wireless may not be the service for you. Um, so, moving right along, let's start off with 3G. As you guys can see in the top left-hand corner there, it says 3G. Well, Straight Talk Wireless, 4G coverage isn't available yet, so, and that goes for all devices. If you're a Straight Talk Wireless, you are a 3G user. Um, so definitely, definitely, definitely something to consider when thinking about switching over. Next is picture messaging. Um, if you buy your phone through Straight Talk Wireless, so for me, I bought mine on iPhone, or sorry, from momart.com, and it said I typed in Straight Talk Wireless iPhone 5, and I bought it there. I can send picture messaging. So if you buy it that way, you can. But let's say that you you were with AT&T, you didn't like it, you canceled your service, and you went over to Straight Talk, configured everything and set it up, you cannot use picture messaging. So long story short, if you bring your own phone over to Straight Talk Wireless, you cannot send picture messaging. So definitely something to consider. Moving on, uh, another problem with Straight Talk Wireless that may keep customers away is no data roaming. Uh, I experienced this firsthand. I was traveling from college back home for the summer and I found that my phone didn't work a lot of my drive in a, in a bad coverage reception for Verizon, which is who I'm linked with with Straight Talk Wireless. I'm on Verizon's network. Um, so I called a rep today and I'll speak about their customer service in a second. But I called a rep from Straight Talk Wireless, and he told me basically if I'm not in a Verizon coverage area with Verizon Towers, my phone doesn't work. So that's definitely something a little scary and that you may want to consider if you're thinking about switching over uh, to Straight Talk Wireless. Now, if you have a GSM phone, unlike me, I have CDMA along with a Sprint phone is CDMA, but if you have T-Mobile or AT&T, you can data room sometimes, but it's very inconsistent, so that may be a deal breaker for some because you don't know if your phone will work or if it won't, um, and that's exactly what the website says. So moving on, um, speaking about those customer service reps that I mentioned earlier, it is horrid. It is god-awful. When I called there, the representative was from overseas. He didn't speak English very well, um, completely butchered my name, tried to rush me off the phone, and this happened more than once. Every single time that I've called Straight Talk Wireless customer service, it has been a nightmare. I don't know if they're just trying to be cheap and not, you know, set up call centers here in America, but it is a nightmare. So for people who regular, regularly rely on customer service, Straight Talk Wireless may not be an option for you because of their bad customer service. Also, another problem with them was inconsistency. Some reps said some things, other reps said other things. So I never knew what was right. The last problem with Straight Talk Wireless is data throttling. And what I mean by that is that there is a 2 gigabyte data throttle set on all unlimited plans, which means that Technically, yeah, it's unlimited, but it will get slowed down at 2 gigabytes of data. So for me, I've made modifications. I've switched over to Wi-Fi heavy use on my iPhone 5. But for those who don't have the ability to use Wi-Fi all the time and like to use their iPhone, you actually get punished if you go over 2 gigabytes of data by having your service become painfully slow. So that is something to definitely consider. So those are some uh, reasons that you may not want to switch over and join Straight Talk Wireless. Uh, so I hope that helped some of you guys out. If you guys like the video, subscribe. Leave some comments down below. I'll definitely check them out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.